Welcome to more adventures on my American Flyer train layout. Today I'm going to take you through the process of reshaping and finishing the tunnel that I had on my previous layout. I'm starting to uh, here create the, the texture and the finished look in a part I had to completely remove because it was just too long to fit on this layout. To the right, you can see the stones that I had carved using a process much like this when I originally built the tunnel. What I'm doing now is just shaving back some of what will be just the ground above the new stones that are going to go over this part of the tunnel. I'm just using a blade from a Swiss Army knife here. I'm not particularly concerned about an especially sharp blade for this part because this is just going to look like carved rock or earth when it's all done. So there's no particular shape it has to have. Don't want it to be particularly smooth. Uh, just looking as natural as possible. This line I want fairly straight because this is going to define the top of the stonework that's defining the tunnel. What I'm working with here is some blue insulating wall foam. I was able to get a lot of this uh, free from a man who had done a lot of insulating on a home he had purchased and had a lot left over and I picked up a few sheets and a whole lot of scraps and I'm working on putting it to good use. As you'll see as we go through this, it is pretty easy to work with. Um, it's fairly easy to shape and even when you've got a pretty big structure like I have here it's still not very heavy and it's relatively easy to handle. Now that I've done the the main carving what I'm doing now is simply using a big ballpoint pen to mark the stones. Um, the ink is helpful to see what I've done but the key is to actually make impressions in the foam and you're going to see in just a minute how I've done that. I've done much of the existing tunnel here. Now I've added some paint and you can see now it does look quite a bit like actual stone or brickwork. I've moved over here now to what I did previously on the tunnel. You can see there's still some places I'm going to have to do some more repairs but that will happen. Now here's, I'm working on the center section that's going to split this wide opening actually into two tunnel entrances or exits. Again, I'm using this big pen and just drawing in areas that I want to represent being stones that have been put in alongside the natural rock to help define and solidify the entrances and exits to this tunnel. This can be a little tedious but it's interesting. Any artist painting or sculpting takes quite a bit of time to create what they're doing and I do, do consider what I'm doing here really building a work of art. Some people will agree with that opinion and some won't but that's okay. This is a process I found works well. Now there's that new center section in place, ready to be painted. And now here is the structure with more paint. I've got to paint deeper into that tunnel, which I have already done since shooting this video. But here's a good look at what it's going to look like when it's done. And coming up shortly, we're going to see this in place on the layout and trains running through the tunnel. So keep watching. That's coming shortly. Here's a view of the mostly finished tunnel. There's a lot of fix-up work to do. There's the space where it's going and there it is in place. And now let's watch some trains running. 